Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the Bone Armor Lurker. The Bone Armor Lurker inhabits Misty Island exclusively. The first time we see one is in the opening cutscene, after it notices Jack and Daxter spying on the meeting. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? Jack, I think we're in trouble! Bone armor lurkers are one of the larger types of lurkers. They have blue fur with a creamy white colour on their hands, feet and underbelly. They wear a brown top, cloth around their waist and gloves. On top of this they have bones strapped to their body to create armour. The most notable piece of armour is the skull it wears on its head. It is unknown what animal this skull comes from. It has two very large horns, large eyes, a long snout and sharp teeth. This lurker also wears a collar just like the others. You can find this hanging from its neck. They also have the same yellow eyes and jawline spurs as the other lurkers do. Another unique thing about this lurker is the very large spike club it carries. When walking around it will carry it over its shoulder, but upon seeing you it will swing it around and wave it in circles above its head, all while charging towards you and growling. If you are able to get to a safe location, the Bone Armor Lurker will huff and puff, swinging its club before walking away. Avoiding them can be very easy, they move quite slowly and their armour makes a lot of noise. If you do decide to attack them, you'll need to time your attack, as when you attack at the same time as them, it will just stun Jack instead. When timing an attack properly, Jack will still be stunned, but this time so will the Lurker. Its helmet will fly into the air, spinning around, before landing back on top of the lurker's head. When it lands, it becomes stuck on the lurker's head. While he's trying to get the helmet off, now's the perfect time to land the final blow. However, if you pick up Red Eco, you'll be able to take them out in just one hit. Makes your attack stronger. If the lurker lands a hit, it will raise its club in the air, screaming in victory. The bone armor lurker is quite an intimidating enemy, especially in the times that they are grouped together. But like I mentioned earlier, just grab some Red Eco, and they become just as easy as the other lurkers. The Bone Armor Lurker has a great design, and it adds a very good extra level of difficulty to this game. It would have been nice to see more enemies like this one throughout the game, to make it a little bit harder. And that's my overview of the Bone Armor Lurker. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.